Hey everybody, I am Heroic Nerd. Today we will be continuing our series of monsters. Today we're going to be reading Tales of Suspense number 9, which features a strange monster. He lives, the demon from the fifth dimension, also known as Diablo. Diablo, the king of the underworld, sort of akin to Lucifer. But uh, no, this isn't really like that. This guy is weird. He's purple, blue, black, tumorish, uh, but not quite. He's actually made of cloud, like ethereal vapors. Let me look. Bah, nothing here, just a wild goose chase. Look behind us, we're doomed, it is Diablo. Yeah, it's Diablo, he's right there. And he's quite large, and he is made of ethereal vapors. But it's not, it's not what you might think. Um, you know what? It's best if you guys just follow me along on this journey. Let's just fucking read this fucker. It was a legend come to life. The legend of a monstrous hulking thing. A fantastic creature that dwelled in the mountains. Only now it was no longer a legend. Now it was real. Now it was here. Now it was doomsday. I saw Diablo, the demon, from the fifth dimension. And that is very important. The fifth dimension. That's actually a location inside of the Marvel Universe. Uh, and here's where Diablo comes from. But um, the fifth dimension is a dimension of, like, ethereal vapors. I, I keep saying that like it, like it makes any sense. Like, that's going to make any of this make any goddamn sense. The truth is, Diablo doesn't make any sense. Okay, let me put it this way. First, we had the Molten Man thing. Then we had Taboo, the mud monster from the swamps. Now we have another one. Let's call these things golems. The first one was made of lava. The second one was made of love, uh, was made of mud. This one's made of clouds. Basically, he's a he's a giant monstrous cloud. Okay, makes sense. Okay, flee for your lives. The demon creature has come to destroy us. It is Diablo. Nothing can stop him. Nothing. Great Scott. The legend's true. Diablo lives. He lives. Yes, it is Diablo. Yeah, you can see it's a very chaotic drawing pattern, just like tons of lines and uh, thick, dark shading. But that's what it's like. Like, as far as the artwork is concerned, if you saw this guy, you would never know. You would have no idea what this thing is. Look at it. It's freaking ridiculous. Was it only one year ago when I, in that gloomy Trinidad cafe, overhearing the words that would change my life? Ah, uh, you balmy. I'm not, I tell you, it's true. I heard it myself from a bloke that was in the village. He said them Indians claimed there's a demon high up in the mountains. Me? Of necessity, I am a guide, but by preference, I am an adventurer, and so... Excuse me, my friend. Did I hear you say there's a demon living in those mountains? That's what the Aztecs claim, mister. They say there's a giant smoke demon in the Sierra Madre Mountains. Yeah, that's what it is, smoke. He's basically a giant smoke demon. <laughs> They're golems. They're golems made of materials. This is something that Marvel did a lot of. They did a lot of these golems made of fire and ice and all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm here for it. I love it. That's a new one on me. I've hunted and guided from Singapore to Siam, but never heard tell of a smoke demon. Whereabouts is this village? God, this fucking idiot's gonna go try and find it. If you're interested, I'll get a map and show ya. And he showed me, all right. Naturally, I didn't believe any of it, but there was something in his story, something that made me hop the next freighter out of Trinidad. This is probably a wild goose chase, but if it isn't, if there really is some kind of strange menace in those hills, I'll have to make a million dollar discovery. Then, the steamer docked at Veracruz from there, I traveled northeast until finally, at last, the Aztec village, traveling into the unknown. That's a common trope in these kinds of stories, and let me tell you, it never works out well. Hey, what's everybody running for? Well, you see, it's Diablo. It's the very demonic smoke monster that you came to see. Oh, he's coming down from the mountain. We must flee for our lives, the smoke demon. He comes. Where is he? And there he is. 
Before I could catch my breath, I was alone. Alone in that strange, now deserted, silent village. Alone with... What? They called it Diablo, but what is it? Suddenly, I sensed something behind me. Breathlessly, I turned, slowly, fearfully, never expecting the brain-numbing sight which greeted my awe-stricken eyes. It is d, -d, -d, -d diablo I never dreamt. I never thought. It's a living, swirling nightmare. That is kind of terrifying. It reminds me a little bit of the the wind titan from the hercules you guys know where it's basically just a giant tornado with eyes and it just it just chases you down that's another terrifying thought i do find these golem creatures exceptionally terrifying especially considering smoke i mean you're just gonna suffocate to death that's gonna be terrible for seconds i remained there petrified as the colossal foreboding apparition thundered towards the silent village but I hear something as though someone's talking and yet there is no sound. I'm just receiving thought impulses. That's what it is. Mental telepathy. My brain is being probed and I can't keep Diablo's thoughts out. Earthling Diablo calls. He can talk. Who? What are you? Where do you come from? Silence, mortal. Diablo will empty your brain of unimportant thought. And you shall learn my secret. Thank you. Thank you. Because for a second there, I was truly, truly terrified that we were going to go this whole issue without learning exactly what Diablo was and where he comes from. Let your mind travel back ages ago to the days of the great experiment. Ball? The experiment? What? Silence. My God damn it. He's from an alien planet where everybody is smoke. God damn it. Why always? Why? It's because I'm reading comic books from the Atomic Age. That's why. But still, come on. You can do better than that. My world was overcrowded, so I ventured through strange dimensions, seeking a new home for my race. Time and space are my slaves, for I am master of all dimensions. I am Diablo. I go. When Diablo returns, another world shall be ours. They are conquerors, I see. Conquerors of the farthest reaches of time and space. Centuries passed. Worlds were born, planets died, and still I journeyed. For all eternity is mine. And then I stumbled upon your puny three-dimensional world. Your Earth. The world that will soon bow to Diablo. Look. It is an evil spirit. The gods have cursed us. They have sent us a demon. They always do that shit, goddammit. This is what I have sought. For ages, I remained silent, gathering my strength, harnessing the energy of the elements, until now I am again Diablo, master of time and space, and I am ready to strike. What do you mean, strike? Earthling, I am going to destroy mankind. But why? Why are you going to do that? They never explain why. They are here. They are on Earth. They are conquerors. But why? Why? Never. Never have they explained, and never will they explain. You are mad, and I must be too. This whole thing is just a crazy hallucination. Is it? Watch, puny creature, as I give you a tiny sample of my power. And then, while my brain was still reeling, I found myself engulfed by thick, shadowy mass that was the hand of diablo you see that's exactly what i'm terrified of it can't breathe i'm choking god can you imagine can you imagine it, rem it reminds me of like like on independence day like fourth of july when there's all that smoke and it becomes thick and in some places it becomes hard to breathe that's what it is it's just uh just choking <sighs> ugh well, in that case, you know what? It is good that he is drawn with these dark blues and blacks and grays because it's it's smoke. Now, mortal, now you know the might of Diablo. Yes, another couple of seconds and it would have been the end of me. I admit you have power, but so do we. You'll find that we of Earth are not helpless. Fool. Think you that your clumsy Earth weapons can stop me, Diablo? Diablo, whose very name sends fear throughout untold galaxies. <sighs> well, you are smoke. 
you can suffocate us, but we could just put on masks and that's like, you know, I, I don't know. I think you would fear the puny. Yeah, they had gas masks at this point, right? They had they had gas masks. I think I would fear the puny weapons of Earth soldiers. Bah! Would your elephants fear the buzzing of a gnat? Mi madre, it's like throwing pebbles at a mountain. Well, because they're just going straight through him because he is smoke. That's it. Your small arms would be beneath my notice. No three-dimensional weapon can harm Diablo, for he is merely smoke. That is it. He is smoke. We of the fifth dimension are as elusive as smoke. Can you destroy smoke by shooting it? By strafing it? By bombing it? No. Nothing, and I mean nothing, can harm Diablo. Even your atomic... Oh my god, look at the way he looms over the city. Like a giant ominous cloud. It's freaking terrifying. That... That is scary. That's a scary sight right there. Even your atomic weapons will be useless. For I shall drift from metropolis to metropolis. You couldn't bomb me without destroying millions of your own kind. No, Earthlings, nothing can stop. Diablo. Your helpless planes with their bombs would fly vainly by, unable to drop them. Your helpless population would be at my mercy. You know and well, Earthling, Diablo is merciless. And then there's the other Diablos from the fifth dimension. And then when my mission is done, I will contact my world, the mighty world of the fifth dimension. That's it. So that's what he is. He's a fifth dimensional creature that's reduced himself to three dimensions so that he can conquer the third dimension. That's that's as good an explanation as any that we're going to get, I tell you. The time has come. Earth is ours. Another world has been won by Diablo. No more will humans tread the green hills of Earth. At my signal, the brothers of Diablo will travel through time and space to join forces on this our home. But why? Why, if you live in the fifth dimension, do you then want to go backwards and take over the third dimension and then make that your new home? Why Why would you want to do that? You're never going to explain, are you? Nah, just fuck it. That's fine. The mental picture I had seen was fearful and staggering. But while Diablo had been painting it, I had an, an idea had come to me. It was one slim chance to survive and I had to take it. The fate of our world was hanging in the balance. You overgrown mountain of smoke. You haven't a chance. We have one weapon that you don't know about. You dare speak thus to Diablo? If there is such a weapon, show it before I crush you like a fly. You can't. You can't do that. You can't crush him. You don't occupy physical mass, so that's an empty threat. You see it all right. It's a power I have, a power that all Earthmen have, a power you never dreamed existed, a power which can destroy you all. All right, I'm intrigued. Let's see it. How, how are you going to destroy him? Behold, Diablo, behold, creature of smoke. I see, but no, no, it cannot be. You have spoken true. You are stronger than Diablo. I must flee back to my own world. Earth must never be attacked, for I didn't know. I did not know. What is it? It has worked. It was a one in a million gamble, but it has worked. Diablo returned to the mountains and the Indians came back to their village. Then for the last time we saw Diablo as he faded back to his own world forever. Oh my gosh. It was this cigarette lighter. I simply lit it and when he saw the smoke from the flame, Diablo thought it was another creature like himself, only smaller. While he watched, I blew out the flame. As Diablo saw the smoke vanished, he figured I could do the same to him. Couldn't you? Couldn't you just get a big fan? He figured I could do the same to him. Yes, you fucking could. Just get a fan. He thought I could destroy him as I seem to be destroying the smoke. And so the greatest threat ever to confront Earth has been blown away in a puff of smoke. Look at, look at him. Look at his smug face. Look at you, you smug son of a bitch. The end. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know, guys. I don't 
no. <sighs> Diablo, the man of smoke from the fifth dimension, as massive as he is, as unstoppable as he is, it turned out he was a complete moron. Oh my gosh. I... I cannot, dude. I can't. That ending. Oh my god. He's down there. He's a 3 or a 4 out of 10. There's a lot of potential to the character, and I freaking love the idea of a giant cloud of smoke that, that wants to conquer Earth. That's cool, but this ain't it. This is not what it is. This is not what we need. This is not... No. There should have been something different here. There should have been a different ending, but... You know, here's the thing. When it comes to these old comic books, they're monthly, dude. These things are monthly. You can't, there's no, you know, do it. Take Write out the story in an hour, hand it off to your to your pencil artist and, and get the line art done because it needs to be finished by the next fiscal hour before, you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's just kind of unbelievable to me that such a massive, powerful monster would be dissuaded by something so simple. But that's a common trope in these monster stories that for all of their might, for all of their size, for all of their power, they are often defeated by the smallest, silliest things. And that's kind of the moral of these giant monster stories. Uh, the moral that they all have in common is that don't judge something by its size. Don't. Even the mightiest, largest, most powerful creatures have the simplest weaknesses. Anyway, I give him a 4 out of 10. Unfortunately, they didn't live up to the entirety of the expectation. They didn't really push the character as far as they could have. Uh, but that's it. Yeah, 4 out of 10. What do you guys think? Give this guy a rating from 1 out of 10. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And let me know why. I give him a four because God, it. Oh, I hate being disappointed by a comic book because it, it it hurts my heart. I want more. I want more Diablo, please. I want more. Yeah, Diablo's cool. He's fucking cool. Four out of ten. Uh, anyway, that's it for this comic book. If you liked reading this comic with me and you want to read more comics with me, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, nerds. Stay heroic.